And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off, we were on our way to the hub. <clears throat> and we defeated these red scorpions. Um, we can't pick up their tails because our inventory is completely filled with useless stuff. Like some iguanas on a stick, for instance. Uh, so we can't pick that up. Yeah. So let's continue on our perilous journey to the hub. By the way, I was informed by one of my viewers that I should eventually go back, well in fact one of my subscribers, that I should go back eventually to Junktown because you can get tissue apparently as a follower. So we'll get back to Junktown eventually. Then I think we shall do um shall try to get him as a follower yeah but now we're in um in the harp and let's not forget that we have sort of an important quest to do like save our people from a horrible death by dehydration which is however 3914 days away or in other words more than 10 years so let us talk to the local people, like this generic person that doesn't want to talk to me, he's just, yeah. Um, I think the color of the text is an indication of the mood of that person. Brr. I didn't exactly think that you would talk to me. Yes, how can I be of service? Uh, what are you doing here at this hour? I'm a security guard hired by the merchants, who own the goods in these parts. Dangerous job, but it pays well. Just the other night, one of my co-workers was killed while watching over the caravans. Uh, what are the caravans? These are the caravans that I'm guarding. The merchants cart goods to just about all corners of the, corners of the wastes. Junktown, the Brotherhood, Shady Sands and numerous other places. Uh, this looks like the same caravan I saw earlier. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. After a while they all start to look the same. But believe me, they are not. Okay, where could I find a job? You could ask just about anyone here in the hub. Or you can check one of the job bulletin boards. There, there are a few of them around the hub. Okay, let's ask him uh, the most yeah, pressing question, which he will obviously not be able to answer, but let's ask him it anyway. A water chip? I've never, never even heard of one of those. Okay, what are all this, these cars doing here? Blah, blah, blah. We had, we've seen that um, dialogue already. Okay. What is it you trade? Well, lots of stuff. General stuff people need to live, food, water, water. Lots of water, since water probably is the most scarce commodity in the wastes. Yeah, um, he doesn't know about the water chip apparently, but he gave us two important hints. Namely that people here in the hub trade water and that there are some job opportunities for us. So let us end the dialogue and try to barter with him. He has three Stimpex. How much do you want? 340, okay. Um, so one Stimpex would be just a bit over 100. Let's keep it in mind because um, you can also buy Stimpex from other people but of course you don't want to get a bad deal, so let's try to get rid of all our useless items like this bottle of home brewed beer. Uh, we don't need this leather jacket. Hmm. Okay, but maybe you could... I can give you... Okay, how much does this weigh actually? Can he... 
I can't check that here in um, that screen. Okay, let's try to give them that and then... Okay, that's apparently not a good deal. Uh, yeah, they are apparently very expensive, these shotgun shells. Okay, let's do this offer. Yeah, and you can also, by the way, you can steal from people, so... I could, in theory, now steal the stuff that I just sold back and then sell it again, I think. But we won't do that, because um, people catch you, they will get aggressive and... The problem is that not just the one person that you stole from will get aggressive, but all the other people that belong to the same group, which is the innocent people by default. Okay, we can't talk to them. Hmm. But still, sometimes these generic characters without, um, without dialogue give you some hints places here like Bob's or Falcon. Yeah, they want to get their money, apparently. A cover on the wagon converted from the wrecked remains of an ancient automobile. And that's a kid who's actually got a name. Um, that's always the indication that you can talk to these to the character in question. Okay, one point, I think, I think it was in this city, the hub. There are some people that steal your items, so you should be careful. But I don't think that Billy is one of that, those kids. Hi there. Hi, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I mean, I'm taking care of the Bachmin. What's the spare for? Are they dangerous? Uh... Yeah, what's the spear for? Dangerous? <laughs> no, not really. They can give you a really nasty bite, but they're pretty cool. They fart and burp a lot. I don't know why. Okay, what's the spear for? Oh, they can be awfully stubborn when I want them to do something. I just gently stick them to get the move around. Plus, I don't want to get too close. They sometimes kick. Done. By the way, I don't think you can... Okay, why are you... Why did you just do that, Ian? Okay, now we... Um, probably all the Brahmin will just run away. And that poor kid will probably get um, beaten for that. Or worse. Okay, let us close the gutter. Can't close it, apparently. Then I guess the poor kid will hatch will we'll just have to take the consequences. Um yeah, I want to do um by the way, you need to um yeah, be sh make sure that uh, Ian is well equipped. And not in the sense that you think I said it. I mean weapon wise, well equipped, so let us check whether he can use some better weapons. He can use pistols, submachine guns, and knives. Okay. What weapons do we have, actually? I think you have a submachine gun. Uh, do, we have, okay, do we have enough ammunition for those? What is this? This is... 10mm jacket hollow point. I think that's what this gun uses. Yeah, okay. Okay, we have some more of this ammunition. You can have that. Yeah, we have some. Um, we have some, some of this ammunition. Might want to hold onto some of it because we can sell it. And you can also... Hmm. You can have that gun. No, you, no, you can't. I don't think is this gun any good. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I don't think it's that good. Okay, let's hold on to it. 
Yeah. Can have that uh, ammunition though. Okay, let's let's stop the bartering nonsense. Um, let's explore the rest of the. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's explore the rest uh, of this first little section of the hub. Yeah, this um, the hub is a very 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 large. Um, yeah, level or place. It's much bigger certainly than Shady Sands and also um, much bigger than Junktown. You may notice the order of Shady Sands, Junktown and the Harp which with each of these um, each of these cities got progressively bigger which makes sense because yeah, the game wants to ease you into the game. I mean into... yeah. Okay, you get my meaning. Let's check out this building. Some annoying thing about this game is that yeah, sometimes you can't see doors. Like this one for instance. Oh, it's hard to see them. Okay, let us talk to Dan. He is unheard. Uh, unheard of. Ugh. Okay. Why, right, hello there, my friend, and welcome to the hub. Let me introduce myself. They call me Dan, the Brahma man. I will and deal with all the merchants around here, often my ser humble service for a low, low price. So now, what can I do you for? Mm, what service do you offer exactly? Why? I manage the care of pretty, of pretty much all of the caravans, wagon and brahmin in these parts. If they ever need anything for their caravans, I'm the one they talk to. Hell, the big three deal with me exclusively. Who are the big three? Damn son, have I been locked up for all your life in a cave or something? Well, in fact we have been, but that's uh, not important. The big three are the three largest merchant groups in the in the world. Well, okay, maybe not the world, but they sure as hell cover a large portion. About as far as yeah, I can see. <laughs> Damn yourself, you Brahma freak. Oh, them. I thought we were talking about something else. Of course, of course. So how do you join a caravan? Well, I don't have any openings, but you might want to check with the big three. There's a job post in the merchant market that might be of some help to you. That's where they and ours get their men. Which way to the merchant market? Just go straight down this road. It's smack dab in the center of the hub. You can't miss it. You better not be pestering Billy. He's got a hell of a lot to work today. Okay. Who is that Billy? And fortunately he doesn't mind if I just go through his drawers. Hello, Dan's wife. I'm not supposed to talk to anyone. Please, he's my husband. Blah. My husband. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so um, a lot of these um, bookshelves you find here in the cities are empty. Which is actually handy. Because you can use it to store your items, um, which you need to do, for instance, if, if your capacity um, is exhausted, but also due to the fact, as I said, that there are kids here that steal your items. And I think I have just exhausted um, the time for this video, so when we, sh when we come back, folks, we shall continue to explore the hub and to look for a job. So until next time folks, until then.